Hello, uh, we are going to see today how to uh, delineate uh, a catchment using HMS. Uh, and the result is going to be something like this. Uh, but for that, we are going to start from, from scratch. So we go to File, New, and I think uh, choose the folder where I want to save it. I choose Metric System in this case. I'm going to call Create. For example, and create. Um, yes, this is the project from zero. The first thing we are going to do is go to components and add the terrain from terrain data manager. Go to new, I leave the name terrain one next. Choose the file that I know it's in data. Yes, Spanish DTM. Uh, meters finish and it's been added but we cannot see it yet to see it we have to go to components and basin model manager new basin one create and we got it okay and now we are gonna actually follow all these GIS basic steps the first thing we are gonna do is choose our coordinate system that in this case I have already downloaded, but I have a video somewhere there about the projection. And I choose this one, UTM 29.08 set. And now I can, I can link my terrain to the basin model here, in terrain data, terrain one. I cannot see it, but if I click outside, the terrain shows up. And now we go to the following step. In this case, I'm gonna jump to render conditioning because we don't need it. We have a very good and detailed DTM, but if we needed some smooth or something like that, we could go into these tools. Uh, I go, I'm going to preprocess sinks. So it's gonna fill up the sinks of the terrain to be able to create the streams. I'm gonna go to GIS, preprocess drainage. So this is creating like the flow accumulation tools in GIS. Um, yeah, and next step is going to GIS, identify streams, and you can play with this parameter. In this case, I'm going to leave it at 0 0.5 kilometers square. Uh, we cannot see very well, but if we right click here, map layers, and we deactivate all these layers and just leave the terrain and the streams, this is what we can see. And also from here, map layers, we could add shapes or anything that can help us to draw or to choose the, the, the point where we want the catchment, for example. So the following is to draw the point that will define our catchment. And for that, I go to break point creation tool. I zoom in the point where I want my outlet. And here, break point one, create. Perfect. Now I can go to GIS, delineate elements. And these three catchments have, has, uh, have been created. So C1, C2, C, C3. We can see here different parameters like the area or latitude and longitude and many hydraulic inputs for HMS, but we are not going to talk about this today. So what is interesting in here is if we go to parameters, characteristics, subbasin, HEC HMS has automatically like uh, calculated all these um, all these parameters like the flow path length, the flow path slope, the centroidal, um, the basin slope, and so on. These parameters ca these parameters can be very good, for example, to calculate the concentration time of our catchment. If I, instead of in C1, I click in Basin 1, and I go to Parameters, Characteristics, Subbasin, the three of them are listed. And we could, I could, of course, like export this to an Excel sheet or anything. Okay, what else is interesting here? If, for any case, we want this, these two together, I cl can click on one of them, Control, click in another one, go to GIS, 
and merge elements. And now these two are together. Uh, if uh, imagine that, that many mm, uh, catchment have uh, been created, I could uh, reduce the size by going to GIS, identify the streams, and choose here a larger parameter, like one. And repeat the process, delineate elements. Yeah, and then I will have only one uh, catchment. If I wanted to export this as a shape file, I could go to parameters, mm, no, GIS, export layers, subbasins, next, choose a location, and I could save this as a shape file. Um, yeah, what else is interesting? It's that if we go to, okay, this is the model that I have created, and of course there are many files. Um, if we look into the GIS uh, folder, we can see all the, the rasters, uh, layers that we have created throughout this process. The DM, the elevation, flow accumulation, flow directions, and uh, streams. Um, for example, I have here in QGIS the streams loaded. And I could uh, transform this here into a line if I wanted to, to, to use it for, for anything, for example. And yeah, I think that's, that's, that's it. I hope uh, it's uh, useful and a uh, lot of luck. Bye-bye. <laughs>